so as I told you, complementary to complete something and take care that complementary has different version of words. Like if it has I, so it will be a kind of appraisal, a kind of appraisal. Take care of that. This pray, the meaning of this word means something distinct, something unique in quality and character. Interchangeable, also the meaning is known. So we can't work here with connotation, so we're going to work according to the meaning of the sentence or the context clue. He said the work of cow painter T.C. Cannon drives its power in part from the tension among his influences. Then he give us explanation. Classic European poetry, a portrait with its realistic treatment of faces, the American pop art movement with its vivid colors and flat style, the interval painting style that reject the effect of depth typically achieved through shading and perspective. As you can find here from the words, I can say complementary because nothing in indicate where I talk about the effects of those things and he give a kind of list here. Unknown, even no, because these are these are known interchangeable. They are not changeable with each other. So this prayer means that they are distinct. They are distinct. They are something distinctive. Number two, also words. Hey, did we take this test together before? Yes, Mister. Okay. So widespread, widespread, it's a positive word. Careful, also per positive word. Unintended, negative word. Infrequent, negative word. So we can't use here the connotation. So we're going to look at the sentence. In the early 1800s, the Cherokee scholar Sukoya created the first script or writing system for an indigenous language in the United States. Because it represents the sound of spoken, Cherokee, so accurately, his script was easy to learn and thus quickly achieved. It's easy now. Don't tell me carefully. Don't tell me first that it's a negative word. He said that it's easy and easy is a positive word. So you need on the other side a positive word. So whether widespread or careful. So here is going to be widespread because it's easy to learn. Number three. Again, as you can find the vocabulary, acknowledged. It can be neutral. And I told you, whenever you find the neutral word, forget about the connotation. Insured. It can be positive, denied. Negative, underestimated, negative. So here he said, when Mexican-American archaeologist Zelia Maria Magdalene not all published her 1886 research paper on sculpture found at the ancient indigenous city of Tijuacan in present-day Mexico. Other researchers read Lee, her work as groundbreaking, as groundbreaking. Then he said, this recognition, this recognition stemmed from her convincing demonstration that the sculpture were much older than had previously been thought. So now we need something positive. As I told you, acknowledge is neutral, Ensure positive, denied, and underestimate? No. From the sentence. So whether acknowledged or insured. As you can find here, the other research acknowledge her work as groundbreaking. They know that her work is groundbreaking. Because of that, they start mentioning that their recognition or this recognition stems from her convincing. After that, also vocab. Implement. Neutral. Presume, it's an easy word, and you know all of you about that word. Improvise, positive. So presume means uh, to assume something, to assume something, or to guess. Mimic and improvise. You know mimic means to look like, to act like. Improvise, like when you have a kind of speech and you are not prepared, but you are a good talker. So you improvise. You talk without preparation. So let's find. Like other tribal nation, the Muscogee Creek Nation is self-governing. Its National Council generates laws regulating aspects of community life. 
such as land use and health care. While the principal, chief, and cabinet official, those laws, the care, I need something for laws, by devising policies and administering services in accordance with them. Okay, we can't say improvise for laws. We can't say, like you stand in the front of the school, then you improvise a law, it's not going to be accepted. Mimic also is not going to be accepted. Whether pursue or implement. So it's better to say implement laws. Now we finish the vocabulary. We go to the main purpose. Whenever the question is the main purpose, you look at the first sentence and the last sentence. First sentence and the last sentence. If you messed up between two answers, kindly read the whole text. Miss Pine sat by the window watching in her best dress, looking stately and calm. She seldom went out now. And it was almost time for the carriage. Here he said, the beautiful old house stood wide open to the long expected guest. So I think she is waiting for someone. Let's find the first one. To convey the words brought about by a new guest, maybe. Yes, I'm with. Uh, Who's question this one? Who's the answer for this one? Suhaib, yeah. Suhaib. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Suhaib. It can be right. We are finding someone is watching from the window and there is a guest here, so maybe right. Okay. To describe how the characters have changed over time, no, it's not clear. To contrast the activity indoors with the stillness outside, no, she's waiting for a guest. To depict the setting, place, and time, as the characters await a visitor arrival, yes. So I'm between A and D. Just to be sure, you have to read the whole text again. Now we make elimination. We eliminate it. B and C. Now we are between A and D. So the following text is from Sarah Orange Webb, 1999. Short story, Martha's Lady. Martha is employed by Miss Pine as a maid. Miss Pine sat by the window watching. In her best dress, looking stately and calm, she seldom went out now. And it was almost time for the camp. Martha, the maid, was just coming in from the garden with the strawberries and with more flowers in her apron. It was a bright, cool evening in June, the setting. The golden robin sang in the elms, and the sun was going down behind the apple trees at the foot of the garden. The beautiful old house stood wide open to the long expected guests. Okay. Worries? No kind of worries. It just said bright, cool evening. It said about flowers. So no kind of worries. So it's better to say that the setting because it described the time and the place. Which choice best describe the function of the second sentence, the overall structure of the text? I told you this kind of question. The answer is on the underline, but you have to relate it to what come before and what come after. You have to relate it to what come before and what come after. He said here, astronomers are confident that the star Betelgeuse will eventually consume all the helium in its core and explode in a supernova. The answer is here. So now we talk about the explosion and the ending of one of the stars. They are much less confident who the astronomers. However, about when this will happen. They don't know the time exactly when this will happen. Since that depends on internal characteristics of Betelgeuse that are largely unknown. So they know that this kind of star will be exploded, but they don't know when. Astrophysics, Sarvenia, El Badri, Nance and colleagues recently investigated whether aquatic waves and the star could be used to determine internal stellar states but concluded that this method could not sufficiently reveal Betelgeuse's internal characteristic to allow its evolutionary state to be firmly fixed. Okay, let's find now. We know here that he talked about that they are not they are not sure about when this will happen. It explained how the work of Nancy and colleagues were received by others in the field. No, at all. He talked about that they are suspecting when this is going to happen. This kind of explosion. It presents the central finding reported by Nance and colleagues. It's not the central finding. It's not. There's a kind of suspicion. 
It's identify the problem. Yes, there's a problem because they don't know the time when this star is going to be exploded. That Nance and colleagues attempt to solve but didn't. Yes, because later he spoke about Nance and the colleagues to solve this problem, but they can't. It describes a serious limitation of the method used by Nance. We're not, we're not talking here about the method. Actually, we didn't mention in that part Nance and the colleagues. The question after that literary, which quotation from a work by a historian would best illustrate the student claim? I need the claim. I need the claim. Okay. So here, it's the claim. If you're not going to find the word claim, so you're going to find it in the beginning. Is it in a research paper? A student gratis criticized some historian of modern African politics, claiming that they have evaluated Patrice Lumumba, the first prime minister of what's now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, primarily as a symbol rather than in terms of his action. Okay. I need a quotation that showed that this student criticized the African politics that they claim that Lumumba is a figure, is a symbol, not because of his action. Lumumba is a difficult figure to evaluate due to starkly conflicting opinion inspired during his life and continues to inspire today. Nothing here to talk about that they are dealing with him as a symbol uh, rather than the terms of his action. No, no. The available information makes it clear that Lumumba political beliefs and values were largely consistent throughout his career. Nothing indicates what we are talking about. Lumumba practical accomplishment, his action accomplishment, can be passed over quickly. It's mainly at the personification of Congolese independence that he wants scholarly attention. Yeah, we took here about actions. I don't get the other. But he took here about practical accomplishment. Let's find the last one. Many questions remain about Lumbamba's ultimate vision for an independent Congo. Without new evidence coming to light, these questions are likely to remain unanswered. No, no, no. Again, I need something to talk about that. His action. They didn't look at his action. The question after, scientific, which finding of true would most directly weaken the astronomer's claim. I need to find the word claim now. I want to find the word claim. If I'm not going to find it, so it's going to be the first sentence. Can you find the word claim here? Nothing. So it's the first sentence. This part is the claim. I know to we I want to weaken this claim right now. I want to weaken this claim. Given the stars and planets initially formed from the same gas and thus in space. Some astronomers have post posted the claim. The whole star did the claim. Did the claim. So the claim is here. But with another word. The host stars such as the sun and their planets such as those in our solar system are composed of the same material with the planets containing equal or smaller quantities of the material that make up the whole star. Wait. So I know to weaken this. They are not. I need to prove that they are not composed of the same material. Okay, let's find A. Most stars are made of hydrogen. Most stars are made. This will support. I need something to weaken. He said most stars are made of hydrogen helium. But when cool, they are revealed to contain small amounts of iron and silicate. No, this support. A nearby whole star whole star is observed to contain the same proportion of hydrogen and helium as that of the sun. Okay. It's not related. It's not related because I need something to talk about the planets. Evidence emerged that the amount of iron in some rocky planets, like the Earth, uh, Mercury, is considerably higher than the amount in their whole star. Yes? So now they are different. So they are not composed of the same material with a smaller quantity in the planets. Now he said higher, higher than, higher. Here he says smaller. The method for determining the composition of rocky planets is discovered to be less effective when used to analyze other kind of planets. We didn't talk about that. It's out of topic. After that, 
which find if true, scientific, would most directly support greatest argument. I need argued. Okay, here. This one. I need to support this one now. If there is a missing information or something that you need to decode, you can go up. But the answer is here. I need to support this. He said here, scholars such as Amrico Paradis, by contrast, by contrast, to contrast to whom? Argued that while some Spanish influence is undeniable, Mexican American folklore is mainly the product of the ongoing interaction of various culture in Mexico and the United States. Uh, okay, I need to read up actually to know that he is argued whom or by contrast to whom. In the 20th, 20th century, ethnographers made a concerted effort to collect Mexican-American folklore, but they didn't always agree about the folklore origin. Scholars such as Erlu Espenso claimed that Mexican-American folklore derived largely from the folklore of Spain, which ruled Mexico and what is now the southwestern United States from the 16th to early 19th century. Take care. Now he said he, he agreed that there is a Spanish influence. But the main thing is the product of various culture in Mexico and, and in the United States. So the folklore that the ethnographer collected includes several songs written of the third in the form of Disma, a type poem originating in late 16th century Spain. Okay. If you're gonna say Spain, means that you weaken this, you refute this. Much of the folklore that the ethnographer collected had similar elements from region to region. Uh, it doesn't give me a relation. It can be, but I need to get the more. I need to get more support. Much of the folklore that the ethnographer collected was previously known to scholars. No, it's not related. I need that it's related to various cultures in Mexico and United States. Most of the folklore that the ethnographer collected consists of card ballads, about history and social life of a clearly recent origin. Huh? Recent origin, what happened in New, New Mexico, California, the area on the West. So these are the, the, the recent origin. So now we know that it's not relating to Spain. It's related to a recent origin, a kind of integration between Mexico and United States. Yes, this will support more than that. Now a graph. Which choice most if you use data from the graph to complete the sentence? I told you. Compilation is the easiest one. I'm going to read the last one like that. Then I'm going to look at the graph and find out. He said in some regions, female farmers were found to be especially prominent in the cultivation of a specific type of crops and even constituted the majority of farmers who cultivated those crops for instance. I need to talk about female farmers, female farmers and their contribution for the cultivation of specific types of crops and even constitute the majority of farmers. Okay, here is what percentage of on the state small scale farmers who are female by main crop. Here the female farmers as a percentage of total. Here a kind of era on the state region and here cereal. Root crops, non-root vegetables. Let's find which one will relate. Most of the farmers who mainly cultivated cereal, cereal, okay, and most of the farmers who mainly cultivated non-root vegetables, okay. So I need this and this. In South Ondo, ah, you in that part, where women. It indicate that they were women because here it's around 55, but here it's not. Here is not. This, yes. It's above 50, so most of them. Because if we're going to make 50%, let's say that 53% minus 100, we're going to have, I think, 47. But here, okay, here the majority of women, but here less women. No. So, for uh, cereal is not right. More women in central Ondo, okay, mainly cultivated root crops. How? Then mainly cultivate cereal. How? No, cereal is bigger than 
the root crops. It's not. Most of farmers who mainly cultivated non-root vegetables in north, none. He said none. Root vegetable, the black one. Where? In north and south Ondo. North and south Ondo. Okay. Where women? Yes. Yes. Above 55. Most of them were women. Here above 50. Most of them were women. The right. A relatively equal proportion of women across the three regions of Ondo mainly cultivated cereal. Let's find cereal are equal. No, they are not equal. They are different. Except that they are a little bit equal, but this is different. So wrong. Which choice best state the main idea? Whenever the find whenever we find the main idea, take the first sentence and the last sentence. Don't forget that. So if you miss between two answers, it's like the main purpose exactly. If you miss between two answers, just go to the whole thing. Believing that living in an impractical space can heighten awareness and even improve health. Conceptual artist Mad Lingens and Chusku Arqua designed an apartment building in Japan to be more fanciful than functional. So impractical. They made a kind of apartment to work in that it's fanciful, not functional. The last sentence, the effect is disorienting, but invigor invigorating. After four years there, filmmaker Nobu Yamuka reported significant health benefits. So this kind of impractical makes sign of positive effects. Although inhabiting a home surrounded by fanciful features, such as those designed by Gens and Arkawa, can be rejuvenating, it is unsustainable. No, he said that it has positive things, significant health benefits. No, no. Designing disorienting spaces like those in the Gens and Arkawa building is the most effective way to create a physical simulating environment. Maybe, maybe physical simulating environment. As a filmmaker, Yamuka has long supported the design of conceptual artists such as Genz and Arkawa. He talked about an example for Yamuka, but I'm not sure. So it can be B or C. Although impractical, yes, the design of the apartment building by Genz and Arkawa may improve the well-being of the building residents, yes. So it can be B, C, and D. So because of that, I have to read the rest. He said a kitchen counter is chest high on one side and knee high on the other. A ceiling has a door to nowhere. Okay, let's find now. Designing this orient space like those in the Genza and Arkawa building is the most effective way to create physical stimulating environment. Physically stimulating environment. He doesn't talk about stimulating environment, but he talked about that it reported significant health benefits for him. As filmmaker, no one not talk about him. So this, although impractical, that was mentioned up, the design of the apartment building by Gens and Arkawa may improve the well-being of the building resident. Yes? The benefits, health benefits. Question after that. According to the text, what's true about Eleanor? This is a detailed question. You have to read everything in the text just to know the answer. He said here the following text is from Jane Austen, 1811 novel, Sense and Sensibility. Eleanor lives with her younger sisters and her mother, Mrs. Dashwood. Eleanor, take care. So Eleanor lives with her younger sisters and her mother. So she is the eldest. Eleanor, this eldest daughter, whose advice was so effectual, possessed a strength of understanding, positive things for Eleanor, and coolness of judgment, which qualified her though only 19, she is only 19, to be the counselor for her mother. She is the advisor for her mother and enabled her frequently to counteract to the advantage of them all. The eagerness of mind in Mrs. Dashwood, which must generally have led to imprudence. She had an excellent heart. Her disposition was affectionate and her feelings were strong, but she knew how to govern them. She's talking about Eleanor. 
It was a knowledge which her mother had yet to learn. So her mother is learning from her and which one of her sister had resolved never to be told. Eleanor often argues with her mother, but fails to change her mind. No, she controlled all of them. She had the advantage of them all. Eleanor can be overly sensitive with regard to family matters. He didn't say that she's sensitive. And even he said here, coolness of judgment. She's cool. Berda. Eleanor thinks her mother is a bad role model. He didn't say that. Eleanor is remarkably mature for her age. Yes, she's 19. But she is the dependent matter for all members. They want to learn from her. Question after that, inference. Inference. You know how to answer inference, teacher? Yes. You look at the last sentence. If you need to read more, take the sentence before. He said, bearing the possibility of several farmers of the same era, independently developing techniques that the Haudenosaunee people had already invented. These facts most strongly suggest that. Okay, wait. He took about many facts. He took about many facts, but here only one fact. No, let's take a sense before. So the whole paragraph. So like that is level three. In the early 19th century, some Euro-American farmers in the northeastern United States use agriculture techniques developed by the care. They use agriculture techniques developed by the Hodden Sunni that the, we call them Arquis people centuries earlier. But it seemed that few of those farmers had actually seen. So they never saw them or part of them, few of them. Hodden Sunni Farmers firsthand, bearing the possibility of farmers of the same era, independently developing technique that the Hadden Sini people had already invented. These facts most strongly suggest that. So, because those people used their way, despite they didn't see them. So, those farmers learned the technique from other people who were more directly influenced by Hadden Sini practices. Yes, if they didn't see them, so like that, they learned from other people that they left with those kind of people. The crops typically cultivated by Euro-American farmers in the Northeast United States were not well suited to Hansini farming technique. No, he said that it looks like them. Hansini farming technique were widely used in region outside the Northeastern United States. Didn't say that. We need something that relate to the Northeastern United States. Euro-American farmers only began to recognize the benefits of Hansini farming technique late in the 19th century. No, he said in the early, not late. He said in the early 19th century. Okay, now grammar. Grammar, as I told you, is better to start from down, not from up. So when you start the test, start from down, scroll down, go to question 27 and start from it. Why? Because the grammar is going to be solved easily. Do you know that I can solve this without even look at the sentence? How teacher? Provided is a verb. Having provided is not a verb. To provide is not a verb. Providing is not a verb. So I'm going to take the verb. These three are not verbs. This only the verb provided. So let's find that this is right or wrong. A member of Cherokee Nation, Mary Golda Ross, is renowned for her contribution to NASA Planetary Flight Handbook. Which, which after it comes? The verb. Which come after it? The verb, which provided. Easy. Let's look at this one. This one is boundaries, punctuation. What did you say before, teacher? I'm going to write value without any conjunction or without any punctuation. Then I'm going to read the sentence to find out. It said typically underlines, scribbles, and notes left in the margin by a former owner lower a box value. Lower a book value. Okay, this is independent. Then after that, he said typically underlines, scribbles, and notes. Lift in the merge. This is a modifier. Lift in the merge by form owner. Lower a box value. This is the verb. So the underlines, scribbles, and notes. Lower a box value. Okay, this is independent. Then he said, when the former owner is a famous poet, like why, like Walt, which man or white man? Such okay, this is independent now. Such markings 
known as marginalia can be a gold mine to literary scholars. This independent. Okay, which teacher? Now this is a complete compound sentence. Complex sentence. It consists of dependent and independent. Between them a comma. Between them a comma. Okay. What about the sentence before? It's a sentence. It's independent. So what you're going to do? If we have independent, then in, uh, independent, independent, we know that we can put nothing or put a comma. So if I'm going to say value, ah, but there is a problem. The, the two sentences after, it's a complete one. Complete one. So if it has, take care of that. If it has independent, we're going to consider all of it as independent. Because these two together, we're going to consider all of it as independent. So in this case, we are going to just imagine that two independent clauses come after each other, connect them by comma, fanboys, or semicolon, or full stop. So the answer is here. Again, now the second part consists of dependent, independent. It's complete, full. The first part is independent. Don't deal, don't deal with that this independent, this dependent, so don't put nothing. No. Deal with it that this now it's a complete thought that is a kind of independent, all of it. So two independent come after each other, connect them by comma, fanboys, or semicolon, and full stop. This is level three. Question after. Uh, I like this one. Why, teacher? Let's look at the sentence. Also, I'm going to put percent and such without any punctuation. And I'm going to look at the sentence here. Where is the beginning? Where is the end? Okay, all of it. Let's find. After, after is a subordinate conjunction, dependent. After the United States Kingdom began rolling out Texas equivalent to a few cents on single-use plastic grocery bags in 2011. Okay, there's the dependent. Now the independent. Plastic bag consumption decreased by up to 90%. Okay, I think now we finish the sentence. Now we finish the sentence. Together, like the sense before. Then he said such taxes are some. Ah, oh, there's a new independent. There's a new independent. So here we have dependent, independent. Consider both of them independent. We just solved it here. Consider both of them independent. And then after it independent. So if we have two independent, what we're going to do? Connect them by comma fanboys or full stop or comma uh, or semicolon. We have only full stop. The same thing, this one and this one. Again here, let's find. I'm going to take only the sentence that has these things. Okay, here. And I'm going to put added whenever without punctuation and without conjunction. Earth is slightly irregular rotation rate means... That measurements of time must be periodically adjusted. Okay, there's a sentence. I don't need it. It's specifically an extra leap second. The 86,401 SC second of the day is. Okay, okay. I need now to complete the sentence. Is added whenever time based on the planet's rotation legs on. Okay, whenever here. It's so now we have independent, dependent. We don't put anything between them. Independent, dependent. We put, don't put anything between them. Add it whenever. Here it's easy. I'm gonna solve it easy. Has singular or plural? Have plural, enhance plural. So I'm gonna take the odd one out, singular. But I must be sure that the answer. Let's find the subject. Bengali author Turo Dots achieved gland in French field. A volume of English translation of French poems. Ah, uh, so I talk about the Bengali author for this one. So is, I'm sorry, singular has. Here, I told you to take care of that. However, will belong to whom? So I'm going to take this. He said, Scott Heron himself resisted the Godfather nickname. Okay, still a sentence. However, feeling that it didn't. Okay, I can miss, I missed here. Are the two sentences or not? Scott Heron himself 
resisted the Godfather, the Godfather nickname. However, feeling that it didn't, okay, feeling that it didn't uh, encapsulate his devotion to the border African American blues music tradition, as well as bluesologist, the moniker he preferred. Ah, oh, this is another sentence. This is another sentence. So now, however, is with another sentence. Okay, we need to put semicolon. But we need to decide that the semicolon, however, is going to be with the first sentence or with the second sentence. How we know? If it's with the first sentence, if it's with the first sentence, that means it's related to the sentence before. If it's with the second sentence, so it's related to the sentence after. Like if it's here, then semicolon, because now I have to answer. The care, however, come before it comma, if it come in the middle. And after it, if it come also in the middle between in one sentence. But here two sentences. So I need semicolon. I need semicolon. So whether this or this. This one means, however, is going to be a relation between these two sentences. Let's find. Journalists have dubbed Gil Scott Heron, the godfather of rap, a title that has appeared in hundreds of articles about him since the 1990s. However, Scott Heron himself resists the godfather nickname. No. No. Okay. The other two sentences. Scott Heron himself resisted the godfather nickname. However, feeling that it didn't encapsulate, yes, it relates to this. The contradiction between these two sentences, so it will be with the second. So I'm gonna put semicolon before, however. Again, we're gonna put the words without any punctuation. Quilts that let's take from here till here. When viewed up close, however, look, however, now come in the middle of the sentence. So before the comma, after the comma. When viewed up close, however, when viewed up close. This actually is not a close. This is a modifier. However, the portraits revealed themselves to be the quilts. The stitching barely visible among the southern pieces of printed Marquette fabric. Okay, to be the quilts. And this is a modifier. This is a modifier. This is a modifier. So we need a comma. We need a comma. Now, transition. For an instance, exemplification. Nevertheless, contradiction. Meanwhile, meanwhile, it can be sequence in addition, addition. Let's find the relation in this one. Or we can read it all, no problem. Most conifers, trees belonging to the phylum, conifer fight, are evergreen. That is the key, their green leaves or needles year round. However, not all conifer species are evergreen. Large trees, this example, this example, lose their needle every fall. So, for instance, uh huh, the rhetorical sentences, what he wants, he wants to describe the rocking chair to an audience unfamiliar with the Sam Maloof. Unfamiliar. So, we need more details about Sam Maloof. With its sleek, contoured armrest and seat, the walnut rocking chair in Boston Museum of Fine Arts is just one piece of furniture created by the American woodworker Sam Maloof. Yes, he gave us more information about the armchair. Here it can be the answer. I need, as I told you, describe the rocking chair to an audience unfamiliar with Sam Maloof. Who's Sam Maloof? He told us now that he's the American woodworker Sam Maloof. He was a carpenter. But he make it with a nice voice. Sam Malou was born in 1916. Okay, more information now. And died in 2009. And during his life, he made a chair that you can see if you visit the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. But he didn't give miss us many information about rocking chair. Explanation for it. Because also, he said rocking chair. And Sam Malou, both of them, the audience are unfamiliar. He not only he described Sam Malou, or he tell us more information about Sam Malou. What about the armchair? Nothing. Furniture designer Sam Malouf was a recipient of one of the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation Genius Grants. I don't care about this. He doesn't give me more information about Sam Malouf or about the rookie chair. 
The rocking chair is made from walnut, okay? And it has been shaped such as armrest. And seats are sleek and contour, okay? He described for me the rock chair. But what about Sam Maloof? No information about Sam Maloof. So the answer is A. Again, the students want to emphasize the study of methodology. I need to emphasize this study. Without looking up, the student policies of 132 medical schools can be found online according to research by Kerry Kine. Nothing here took about the study. To find out the care, I need the study methodology. Methodology, how to study. So the way that he studied. To find out how many medical schools have guidelines about student social media use. Huh? Here, the method, the methodology. Terry Kine and her team examined the student policies of 132 medical schools. Yes. So what did they do? And what did their goal? See, out of 132 medical schools, only 13 had student policies that mentioned social media. And only five specified what youth was acceptable. Did the result. I need the methodology, the way that make the study. Terry Kine and her team wanted, okay? To know how many medical schools have student social media policies in place about protecting patient confidentiality. But this is better because it shows us the way, her methodology, and even the number. Another one for rhetorical synthesis. I want to emphasize the duration, duration and purpose. So two things of Cohen's and Rodrigue's work. I need duration and purpose. Duration and purpose. Don't forget that if you miss between two answers or you can't get the answers, return and read the bullets. At the Gola Museum in Hilton, Head Island, and Georgetown, South Carolina, visitors can learn more about Gola people who have lived in the region for centuries. Okay, this is the purpose. Where is the duration? Where is the duration? Louis Miller Kime and Vermel Rodriguez have worked to preserve the culture of Gala people. This is the purpose. We have lived in the United States since the 18th century. Where is the duration? Here is the part that they live in. Know the duration. Since 2003, Louis Miller Kime and Vermel Rodriguez have worked to preserve uh -huh, the, the goal, the, the purpose. Go look out throughout their museum. And they said since, since 2003. Since 2003. So here he mentioned the duration, the work. Influenced by the tradition of West and Central Africa, Gala culture developed in parts of the South Southeast United States in the 18th century. Now they talk about the purpose and the duration. Another one. I want to emphasize the aim, the goal of the research study. The goal of the research study. Thomas Rivers and F. Leland Russell, researcher at Wichita State University. Wanted the goal to know if woodland expansion is related to changing climate. Yes, to the goal. Thanks to the work done by Thomas Roger and F. F. Leland Russell, we now know that droughts may have played a role in woodland expansion. I need the goal of the research study. You just give us what happened after. Wichita State University researcher have determined that three population growth was associated with dry intervene. Again, the result. I need the goal. Thomas Roger and F. Lee Land. Russell analyzed core samples from oak trees on a site that was not wood, wooded in the past, indexing the age of the trees with historical climate date. Nothing here indicate about the goal. I'm done with this one. Okay, this actually was a kind of uh, quiz also for the other group. So for the group of Sohai, Bedonia, Dalal, Masa. So just, we're going to look at, uh, here we're talking about form structure and census. And did, you know, this one of the skill of the standard English convention that has five sub skills, subject verb agreement, and to see pronoun and agreement, verb forms, uh, possessives, and modifiers. 
Let's find this. This is the easiest one that you can solve it with <clears throat> elimination. But here it's harder. Here it's a little bit harder. Why? If you look here at as it is, it is a singular. They are plural. We are plural. This is singular, so I can't deal with elimination here. This is the part that I told you about in level two and level three. So let's find, we need to find the antecedent to design. So I'm going to read from up. Studying the deepest part of the ocean is a daunting task. Humans cannot survive the crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and lack of light that characterize what's called the absolute zone, especially designed Submarines and robots can explore this real, but highly expensive and limited by technical challenge. Ah, uh, we're talking about submarines and robots. So plural. So I'm going to cancel A and B. Can we say about submarines and robots? We? No. So it's going to be they are. If you find that the choices are long without apostrophe S or S apostrophe, so it's a modifier. It's a modifier. Let's find out. From far from being modern invention. So I need something that it's an invention to be the first word here. To be the first word here. Sumerian? No, Sumerian are not invention. Drinking straws? Yes, straws are uh, as a kind of invention. And he said inventions, plural. And here is straws. Engine. Mesopotamia? No, this is a kind of civilization. It's not invention. The use of drinking straws? No, I'm not talking about use. If, if it uses, even it's not going to be. So drinking straws. Far from being modern invention, straws. Straws. Number three. Okay. Again. Earn. I'm going to use it with elimination. Odd one out. Earn is a verb. Earn is a verb. Has earned is a verb. Earning is not a verb. So I'm going to choose the old one out, earning. But I want to be sure that we need, we don't need a verb. Let's read. Here brought, I'm going to read only this. Here brought singing, repertoire, which included traditional forms, such as the Arabic, qasida, and maqam. Alongside modern pop and jazz styles. Lint. Okay. This is the subject. This is the verb. Lint. Fayruz. This Fayruz? Yes. A timeless, cross-generational appeal. Earning her. I'm on the fire. I don't need a verb. I don't need a verb at all. The moniker, the soul of Lebanon. Okay. Number four. Ah. Uh, Determine is plural, has singular, determines singular, is singular. So I'm going to take the plural, but I want to be sure. Yes, curves, plural, determine. Their forms will ascend future, ascended past. A sense present is ascending, present, continuous, or progressive. Let's find the consistency by the time Hawaiian king Kim Kim Hamby or Kim Hami. Okay, we're talking about in the past now. This is in the past. The throne, the number of longhorn cattle first introduced. Thank you. Past, past, ascended. Now, pronoun antecedent, she, singular, they, plural, those, plural, it, singular. Okay, again, it's hard. I have to find the antecedent. The human brain is primed to recognize faces so much so that due to a perceptual tendency called a pyridolia, will even find face in clouds. Okay, human brain. You talk about human brain. So it's not plural. And we can say the human brain is she. So it. 
promote singular, promote plural, are plural, have plural. So I'm going to take the old one out. But I want to be sure that the subject is singular. Here, the African Games go production market. This is the subject. One, one of the over 180 annual international conferences supporting video game development. I need the verb. The verb is here. And then the subject. So the verb is going to be singular because market is singular. Will leverage verb forms. Will leverage future. Is leveraging present continuous? Has leverage present perfect? Leverage past. Let's find the consistency. After winning the 1860 presidential election, Abraham Lincoln appointed Edward Pace, Samuel B. Chase, and William S. Dewar to be to his cabinet. Lincoln's decision was past. Past, since each of these men had run past perfect. Again, it's saying, but Syrian have praise, ah, present perfect. Well, I don't care because the old, here he talk about the historian. Here I talking about the historian, but the action is in the past. Noting that Lincoln, we're talking about Lincoln, so in the past, leveraged. This is a pronoun and seal agreement. One accumulates singular. They accumulate plural. It accumulates singular. We accumulate plural. I think now it's clear because we're not going to use we except that we have indicator about that we're talking about ourselves. So let's find official measurements of the Mississippi River's length vary. According to the U.S. Geologic Survey, the river is 2,300 miles long. Whereas the environmental protection Agency records its length as 2,000 to, uh, 2,320 miles. This disparity can be explained in part by the fact that rivers such as Mississippi expand and contract as, I oh, talk about rivers, talk about rivers, as they accumulate. Again, pronoun and seasons agreement. They're plural. They are plural, but this is subject verb. Subject. Verb. It's plural. I'm sorry. It's singular. It is singular, but it's subject verb. I need to be sure that we need subject verb or not. No? Start with with. With is a preposition. With is a preposition. When we have a preposition, don't put subject verb after. Preposition, no subject verb after it. Preposition come after it noun or pronoun. So they are is wrong. It is, is is wrong. Now we need to be sure that it's plural or singular. Is it Oglala? Oglala. Lakota poet, Lally Long Soldier. Start 12 poems. Offer an unusually open-ended reading experience with eight patterns. Nothing here. Eight panels to text it together in the shape of a traditional eight-point lakuda. Ah, the poems, the end season come in uh, after. So poems, plural, so it's going to be there. Number 11, place is a verb. To place is not a verb. Places is a verb. This in the present, this in the present. Place is a verb. We need to know that we need a verb or not to decide after. Okay. He said Parker's. I'm going to look at that part. Parker's crucial, crucial finding was the first. We have a verb written. With the first place. We don't need a verb. Developing is not a verb. Developed is a verb. Having developed is not a verb. To develop is not a verb. So I'm going to take the verb. Let's find that we need a verb or not. Where is the sentence? It's from here. He said it was there the prize premiere, her first symphony. Okay. A beat that was praised by blended tradition romantic motives with aspects of the black folk music. And we need a verb. We need a verb for this one. It was there that prize premiere, her first symphony, and develop. And develop. A verb. Premiered and developed. We need a verb. 
Any question regarding this one? Okay, no questions? Yeah. Okay. I know, Mazin, that uh, you want to go because of your other session. Okay, well, Mazin. Uh, listen, uh, listen, listen back to Talk to him. So you're going to start answering. I'm going to put now a sheet, not a test. Let me stop recording.